Can you close that door? Yeah. said 2020 was crazy 2021 started crazy as well what do y'all feel like as a black man in america what do y'all feel like y'all mind state is right now because i know mine's mine's is all about survival right now but it's war it's where, up, where is y'all where is it's, y'all? it's honestly been the same since mm-hmm. i was a you know what i'm saying a young lad man yeah like nothing has changed yeah still Fact. you know what i mean the enemy of the state uh, the constant pressures of just being a black male, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, yeah. in America. Yeah. The thing that's probably changed up for me throughout the years is just now I have other people outside of myself to look after that are black, mm-hmm. young and black in mm-hmm. America, being my daughter and yeah. my son. Now mm-hmm. I have to, outside of myself, right. now I have to think about them as well, how they're maneuvering out here in the world. Right. But there's just nothing, you know, no matter who the president is, no matter the regime, it still feels the exact same mm. and until you know real changes are done yeah it's always gonna be like that yeah yeah honestly yeah that's how i feel bro. yeah with a cost for a nigga like me <laughs> for real right like, you know what i'm saying you can suit me up you know what i'm saying what i gotta do for y'all don't kill me right right, right. i can dress in all this to design and y'all still gonna kill me yeah i can goddamn play for the lead i still gonna kill me mm-hmm. and then it's like and then you're a product of your environment it's right like, White versus white kill just as much as black versus black. It's just our culture is popular. That's why y'all love it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all y'all magnetize the guys' people. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's what that is. They don't talk about that. You know what I'm saying? They talk about homicide, but who got guns? Us. You know what I'm saying? But where are we getting guns from? Y'all. Mm-hmm. So it's like, like you know what I'm saying? No and then women. Yeah. Like yo, we at a point right now. It's like yo. They not fucking with us, but we just, <laughs> yo, I swear it's like a propaganda. It's like, yo, why they, what's up with this, like, yeah. protect black women? We yeah. don't protect y'all? Yeah. Like, I don't protect my women. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? My woman ain't never had no rah-rah shit against her, no foo-foo shit happening. Right. Or any of my, my brother peoples. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so when that happens, I feel like once you say that, you create propaganda, that. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You create it's that propaganda. and people head up protect black like, women now. Propaganda, bro. Now, I'm only saying that because they only say protect black women when... They talk about black men. Right. They're not saying, but they don't, I mean, they do though. Yeah. Like, majority, when I catch, you get what I'm saying? Like, majority, it'd be the argument. Like, oh, yeah. I didn't protect black yeah, men. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, we don't. Right, like, right, what right. What are you talking about? Like, but I mean, right. but you know, the propaganda is to always keep us against each other. You I know, know what I'm saying? So, it, so and, and it's super easy, especially with social media, it's super easy to make some shit seem like it's, it is what it it's is. Like, that is the way it is. Like, if, 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 Fucking five, ten people with like mass influence, right? Start saying protect black women. Even if you feel like you're not in danger, you gonna start saying that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then as a black man, we gonna react to that. Like, what you mean? You feel me? You already st- just by saying them words, you already started a conversation. You feel me? Like, we don't even gotta talk, but. I can remember the 10, 20 females that I've seen on Instagram talking about protect black women. I'm like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, okay. It would have ever happened to you. Exactly. Damn, that's a woman that's been scoring. Like, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, understand. Like, let me tell you something, man. That's, if you're talking about relationships, everybody has decisions. And that's what we need to realize that if you talk to good night, that's a whole different subject. Right. Everybody right. get up here and do some Dr. Phil shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? That's not, that's not what we're here for today. Or yeah. is we? And we, we, we can do that, both. Go ahead. I'm saying, go ahead. It's like, I ain't talk to the world. So, it's like people... People don't even know how to accept real love. And people right. don't know how to accept like right. genuine shit because they come from toxicity. Like, but but okay, so this is this is my problem with the word toxic, right? I don't like that it's using as as an excuse. You feel me? Excuse. Like or just like <laughs> just like you would being like I'm traumatized, right? Mm-hmm. Like everybody traumatized. You mm-hmm. feel me? If you really want to think about it, because everybody different. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. oh, Same, everybody, every everybody different, right? So your trauma might be different than my trauma, but they both trauma. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but as a grown man, right, or a grown woman, at a certain point, you gotta start healing. You feel me? And and I don't mean like 
you gotta come to me for your healing. I mean, you gotta start you gotta healing. You feel me? And that's look in the mirror. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's and I feel like that's the part where people get fucked up. It's like they be like, oh, I need to heal, and they expecting let me grab somebody to help me heal. Mm -hmm. But that's not how you heal. You feel me? All the healing gotta be done internally. That's gotta be you. Can't nobody, your mom, nobody can do that for you. You feel me? But I feel like one of the main things is we gotta stop using our trauma and our uh, toxicity or our past or whatever as an excuse, you feel me? Because mm -hmm. you, unintentionally, you telling yourself it's okay to be yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, unintentionally, you telling yourself, like, I'm traumatized, this is how I am. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm anxious, that's just how I am. Except me. Except me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah. nah, nigga. Because like, everybody got that. You feel me? We all got to get up and do what we got to do. So it's like, I'm 28, right? If you 28, you my age, and I... Just like you had trauma, I probably have more to you. I had to sit down and figure it out and deal with it myself. I expect you to do the same thing, you feel me? And if you want to talk about toxicity, to me, entering something like a commitment with another person or telling somebody you're going to be there for them when you ain't here for yourself, ain't here for yourself it's yeah, impossible. Right. You feel me? That's a setup. Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's what they call insanity. Right, right. right. So we living in a term, we living in a time where people don't even have accountability. They go right. back to the beginning. Like, yo, the accountability. It you is know all about the accountability. That's it the name is, of this show. Though, accountability. It is, <laughs> it is, though. It is, though. So, like you said, back to the question, as a black man, right. you got to deal with the three wars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The me versus me, mm -hmm. the me versus them, and then me versus y'all. Right. And right. It's just like what it is. But, me, so, but me versus me is the most important one. Though. Yeah. I guarantee it's the hardest one. Yeah, it's the most important, though. If you can't, get, if you can't get that me right... Can never get nothing else right. right. Can yeah. never get nothing else right. And I be telling people that all the time. Like people look at their problems, right? Like, and whether they dealing with family shit, relationship, career shit, whatever, they look at all their problems and they they go outside themselves to fix it, right? Like they point fingers, they damn try to do all this. They move, they go to a different location, they do all this shit to try to fix it. But it's like they never ever sit down and be like, damn. But what, what, how am I living? You know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. the universe, the universe is, is, is karma based. You know what I'm saying? You can open that next one, nigga. The, 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 the universe is, is karma based. You know what I'm saying? So everything that you put out come back. You know what I'm saying? So half the time shit don't be working out, nigga, because you ain't living right. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter where you go. That shit gonna follow you. Right. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter who you with. That shit still gonna be there. So it's like people ain't fixing them. Like he said, it's accountability. Which is... That shit deep. Very <laughs> that shit deep. Very deep. <laughs> that shit deep. Because you deep. gotta look at yourself. Deep, fam. Yeah, that's the one thing nobody wanna do. And and uh, piggybacking off of that, how y'all feel? Uh, social media changed shit. Y'all life, shit. Y'all career. How how is social media playing a part? And how hard has it been to uh, navigate and learn and adapt to this new feelings. shit? Because we ain't. Because I know I ain't starting the social media area. Um, era pursuing music. You ain't starting the social media era. You ain't start. You ain't starting social media era. So how hard was it to adapt? Like, and that's and that's another say, thing that you talking that. about. I kind of I can't say that I did. And you the reason though. why Madison did, but I can't say that I did because right around the time where Instagram came out is when I really like yo. I think. Not say I like. I think I want to be a rapper. It's like whatever. Like, but nobody thought Instagram was gonna be as big as what it is. Nobody thought anything was gonna be. Big yeah, big. yeah. It now definitely was. You face but face. you couldn't do it up there though. Yeah, but even know, when, like, even when Instagram started, you didn't. I didn't think that was gonna be like. Damn, yeah. this is gonna be like yeah. our shit. Yeah. Like yeah. everybody yeah. is gonna go through that. Yeah, I had an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. I ain't mean to pull you out like that, but she had an Android, so you want up there? What? Look, even before that, we're talking about like. MySpace. Yeah. Yeah. I have MySpace too, though. MySpace. My yeah. Yeah. Uh, MySpace. Yeah. Uh, I remember when. I remember Twitter. when shit. Reverb Nation was the only goddamn yes. place you I was remember. really uploading music online. Niggas trying to be number one. Reverb Nation, nigga. Let's go. Niggas number one. Number one. Yeah. 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 Only got top ten. I feel like, like everybody been been top ten at one point. And they was number one. They had no jobs back then, so. yeah. and it makes sense because yeah, you was up there all day. day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was in the crib, wasn't get no money, man. You know, I was in the crib right there. Yeah, yeah, what you yeah. doing, bro? Like, and you was at a computer then too. You want it? You want on your phone? <laughs> right. From that, you was at your computer. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you want mobile with it? Yeah. The reverb.
Star Nation mobile app came out years yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah that shit was talking about 2016. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you couldn't even like yo the status on Facebook. Like you won't get no likes. It was just like. Yo, Rome Jeter, what's on your mind? Yeah. You're like, God damn, what the fuck I'm gonna say today? <laughs> you like three likes? It'd be like three likes. You can do no video, you can nothing. do nothing, then you couldn't share no goddamn GIF. Nothing. What, what was the GIF then? Nothing. But like, I came up through all the that. There weren't even all emojis like, yet. Yeah, like, all, all that, that bro. Like, but, but how y'all adapting though? How y'all figuring I it out? Sometimes like, I feel like the half of me be like too real for it. I mm. like, Hell, nah, I ain't been 